Welcome, one and all, to South Florida. As you mentioned, it is right now the epicenter of the sporting universe, and we are looking forward to this Game 3 tonight. You just set up the stakes of it extraordinarily well. 80% of the time, the winner of this game goes on to win the Best of Seven Series. Here they are, Stephen A. Smith and Jalen Rose, ready to go. Michael Wilbon will join us shortly. And so as we consider the meaning of this game, Stephen yeah. A., I'm going to give you two options. Mm -hmm. Is tonight a must-win for the Heat, or... Is tonight a must win for the Nuggets? Well, I think it's a must win for the Miami Heat because I think the Miami Heat are the inferior team talent-wise. We understand that Jimmy Butler uh, is a closer, but in the same breath, the star that Nikola Jokic is, a, a two-time league MVP, not to mention the star that Jamal Murray is, they've got a two-headed monster that feed directly off of one another. For, J for the Miami Heat, Jimmy Butler is certainly a catalyst. He's certainly somebody that steps up and produces for them big time as a game wanes, but he needs the assistance of a lot of those role players to help him out because he's not the kind of superstar that really takes over from start to finish as a marquee guy. That's why I say Denver, obviously, when you look at Miami, Miami's the one that needs this more. I agree with Stephen A. And I'll give you for some different reasons. Number one, when you're the underdog and you finally seize momentum, you get a chance to come back home, you have home court advantage, the series is tied while Jimmy Butler's averaging 17 points and only shooting 39% from the floor. You have to build on that momentum because if you allow Denver to come back and not only snatch home court advantage, but get their role players involved, this might be a short series. If the Miami Heat win, we get a long series. I understand that, that to some degree, we continue, and I raise my hand because I'm a part of this as well, to just continue to sell short this Miami team. We're still talking about it like, well, Denver might just put them away, just as we thought the Celtics might, and we thought the Bucks might, and candidly, we thought the Knicks might. The, the reality of it is the Heat now have home court advantage in the NBA that's Finals. That's true, and that's a testament to the greatness of their coach, the greatness of their culture, the greatness of their leader, Jimmy Butler, but I would remind you that we didn't always feel that way when they were up 3-0 we thought Boston was finished yeah. we thought that Miami was going to take Correct. them out and they failed once twice and three times mm -hmm. it was baseball they had a struck out <laughs> but it's basketball so you got four bites at the apple once you're up 3-0 in a best of seven series that's what happened to the Miami Heat so it hasn't always been that way we just look at what they had it was the least efficient offense in basketball during the regular season they was the most prolific offense in the postseason so a metamorphosis took place we look at them we said what the hell is going on here this is something new something entirely differently than what we expected to see all right so the Heat have been doing this basically throughout this postseason season without one of their best players and that is Tyler Hero there had been some hope they would get him back as soon as tonight but as you bring Woj into the conversation it doesn't sound as though it's going to go that way Woj what can you tell us uh, Greeny that's right uh, Tyler Hero rem Tyler Hero remains out in this series he'll miss game three tonight uh, he continues to experience some soreness and that surgically repaired uh, right wrist of his that he fractured all the way back in game one against Milwaukee in the first round of the Eastern Conference Finals. He has ramped up his work. He has had uh, contact practice uh, where he's gotten physical with that wrist, but it continues uh, to uh, be sore. It continues uh, to have some pain in it. And so uh, I think for Miami, they're still unclear on when they can get back Tyler Hero. Uh, he again is out for game three tonight here in Miami. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.